Hi pupils of Bill High School, it's Mr Lombard here. I'm going to run you through another workout today. Today's workout is going to be based more on muscular development, whereas the last workout was a little bit more cardiovascular slash muscular endurance based. There is some muscular endurance work in here, uh, but it is a little bit more uh, based on muscular development using resistance training. What I'm also going to do is a different warm-up with you today, just so you've got some options, a bit of freedom to change it around. So there's no reason why you can't do the warm-up from today with the main part of the last workout, or the warm-up from the last workout with the main part of today's session. What you can also do is take the two main parts and put them together to make a slightly longer session if you want to. So you can have cardio slash muscular endurance, okay, and the resistance training, put them together, slightly longer session. Obviously, anyone else who lives with you uh, is, is more than welcome to join in with the workouts as well. Just make sure that if you feel any discomfort or anything like that, you obviously stop. Make sure you've got water uh, at hand, any medication you need, make sure you've got that as well. Go easy, don't go too hard, and make sure your technique is absolutely perfect. On another note, I need to go through sets and repetitions with you. So a repetition is one complete movement. So if I was to do a squat from here, that would be one repetition. Okay, A set is a collection of repetitions. So if I was to do three sets of ten repetitions, it would be three lots of ten movements. Okay, So if it was ten repetitions, I'd do one, two, and so on, get to ten and rest, that would be one set of 10 repetitions. So if the aim was to do three sets of 10, I'll just then repeat that another two times with a rest in between each set, okay? Just so you understand sets and reps. Um, okay, so the resistance, how are we gonna change that? Now, this is quite simple. All you need is your school bag, okay? Make sure that the actual handles are strong so they don't break or anything like that. And what we're going to do is we can use books, just use books. I've got Lord of the Rings, okay, nice big book there to use as resistance. All you do, put the books in your school bag, okay, and then we're good to go. You want to make it heavier, add some more books. You want to make it lighter, okay, take some books out. It's as simple as that. What we need to make sure we do is get 10, a minimum of 10 repetitions. Okay, a minimum of 10 repetitions. If you want to do 12 repetitions, 15 repetitions, that's fine, but you must get a minimum of 10. So if you get through that set and your form's good, but you're getting to seven or eight and you can't do any more, you need to take a couple of books out, take some stuff out, make it lighter. If your form is just starting to go, for example, okay, at some point during the set, all right, your form's starting to worsen, again, you need to make it lighter so you can Focus on your technique and make sure your technique is perfect so you avoid any injuries or anything like that. Because it's very, very important, okay? Minimum 10 repetitions, perfect technique. I'm going to go through the warm-up with you now. So this is a little bit more of an athletic warm-up. We're still going to get the dynamic stretching and the joint mobilization and the body temperature elevator, uh, as well as the heart rate elevator as well, okay? We're still going to get those things done, but in a different way. Once again, like last time, if you're unsure of any of the terms, go and research them. Go and look and get some knowledge about the theory, okay, that supports the practice. So, a little bit of high knees, okay, just back and forth. Okay, knees nice and high, elbows at right angles. Then butt kicks, okay, so just, or heel flicks, getting heel up behind you. High knee skip, just be careful of the ceiling. Make sure you don't hit a light or anything like that. Okay, so that one there is opposite arm and leg, okay? Opposite arm and leg up, and then skip to the other side. Okay, so from there we can go knee up, rotate. So knee comes up and you rotate towards the knee. Knee up, rotate, knee up, rotate, knee up, rotate. Same thing on the way back. Knee up, rotate, keep your eyes forward. Rotate, knee up, rotate. Then we're gonna go open the gate. So. Big circles with the knee, open the gate, then close the gate on the way back. Then we're going to go walking quad, okay, so stretch your quad, take a step forward, stretch your quad, or quadricep I should say, okay, this way here, go walking hamstring stretch, so Come forward now, you should notice from the static stretches from before, 
step forward into it, okay, and always try as much as you can, okay, to just brush the carpet or the grass if you're outside with your fingers. Try as much as you can to keep your chin up, chest up, okay. If you're gonna start doing that, okay, that's no good. So I'd rather you not touch the ground, okay, and just do that, but keep that right posture, okay. Keep the posture. So on that one there, rear leg bent, front leg straight, chin up, chest up, bum out, okay, bring the arms through. Okay, so from there we're also going to do just some arm swings. That's it. Okay, some leg swings as well. So again, just hold on to something. Make sure there's nothing around you that you're going to kick. Okay, and then just swing the leg through. That's it. And then we'll do the same thing on the other leg. Just swing that leg through. Wrists, interlock your fingers. Ankles as well. Just from there. Circles with the ankles. So like I said, we're just gonna get, this is just dynamically stretching all of your muscles and mobilizing all of your joints. Okay. And that's it, we're ready to go. So I've already spoken to you about how to increase or decrease the load using books. First exercise. Now the way we're gonna do this, we are gonna do this in a circuit. So we're gonna do four exercises and I will run through, I'll do the first, first set with you and then you'll know what you're doing. So four exercises back to back. So you don't rest in between each exercise as you'll see, you rest at the end of all four. So it's still a circuit like the last workout. So first one we'll do, and what, sorry, what I'll do as well is I will run through what muscle groups we're working. I will use the full name as well, the correct name. So again, gives you an opportunity if you're not sure of what that muscle is, to get online and go and research that muscle, okay? I will try and tell you where it is as well, in both ways, in the, in the, in the, the, the simplified way, but I'll also give you the name of the muscle group as well, the actual name of the muscle group. So, first exercise we're gonna do, and make sure I step back so you can see where I am, all right? We're gonna do a type of front squat, okay, with the bag. So all you need to do, just hold the bag in front of you, all right? It's a little bit of a, a, a zercha slash goblet squat, okay? It's a front squat, really. So the focus that we're going for here is that it's obviously our lower body movement. So we're gonna do a push, pull, lower body and core today. This is our lower body movement. It's gonna work on our quadriceps, our hamstrings, our gluteals. So, a little bit of our lower back as well. Keep it nice and higher. It's probably better if I do it this way on one set. So, you wanna have your chin up, chest up, bum out, okay? about a shoulder width stance in terms of the feet and then we squat down okay and we squat down for two we're going to go for 10 reps three four five and i'm keeping that chin up chest up okay seven eight i'm sitting into my heels nine and i'm breathing out the way up ten okay that's the first set there's first exercise for our lower body Next one, what we'll do, we're just going to hold the bag from the handles here. Get our step back so you can see. Soft knees, chin up, chest up, okay? And what we're going to do again, about shoulder width stance with our feet. We're breathing up on the hard part. Always breathe up on the hard part, okay? So as you're contracting your muscles, you want to breathe out. So from here, elbows nice and straight, okay? And up to there for one. And this is an upright row, two. And it's going to engage the muscles of our upper back, three, our biceps at the front of our upper arm, four, and our posterior deltoids, okay, which is the backs of our shoulders, five, six, make sure the elbows, seven, are above the hands, yeah, elbows lead, eight, breathing out, all the way up, nine, and squeezing the upper back and biceps and back shoulder for ten, okay. So like I said, that's the trapezius muscles, okay. Posterior deltoids are going to get worked a little bit there. Your anterior deltoids are actually going to get worked a little bit there as well, and the biceps, okay? Another thing with that one, if you can try to, as you get to the top, bring your shoulders blades together a little bit, okay? So not only are you coming up, you're then pushing your chest out and getting your shoulder blades together, and that's just going to get a bit of a better squeeze in your back muscles, okay, and in your posterior delts, or posterior deltoids. Okay, so that's the first two movements, okay? Next from there, what we're going to go for, we'll use the bag again. 
something called Russian twist. Now this is going to work on our core and uh, on our abdominals, okay, and our external obliques. So rectus abdominis, external obliques. So sitting here, if you can see me, just about chin up, chest up, okay, bag on one side. If this is quite difficult, you can do this actually just with your hands here. You don't even need any resistance, but I will show you with the bag and then you can adjust it accordingly. So from here, chin up, chest up, and just bringing the bag over, okay? Again, options are, you wanna make it harder? Don't touch the bag on the floor, okay? If it's, if it's difficult, you can touch the bag on the floor. You wanna make it a little more difficult still, what you can do, okay, is balance on your bum, okay, and raise your feet off the floor. That's gonna get your lower abdominals working a bit more. So chin up, chest up, we'll go for 10 from here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, okay? So, important things there, chin up, chest up, okay? Don't let yourself get flexed or rounded in the upper back. Keep your chest up, keep the abs tight, keep your lower back strong as well, okay? If you feel any discomfort in your lower back when your feet are off the floor, bring your feet down, put them down on the floor again, okay? So, so that's the third exercise done. So, so far we've done pull, lower body and core, and we're gonna go for the last one now, which is a push. Now I've taken a bit more time in between each exercise, I'm gonna obviously explain it to you, but the way you really wanna do it is you wanna go from, you get in any order that you like, you don't have to do the order I've done, you can go push, pull, lower body, core, core, push, pull, uh, lower, it, it doesn't matter, you can mix it around. So, but you do wanna go from one to the other to the other, that and you rest, and then rest at the end. This one, just press ups, I don't need the bag for this one obviously, so two options, make it slightly easier, we'll do it on the knees, so what you do, okay, imagine your knees are your feet, and then extend your hips, so get your hips forward, so we're trying to get one straight line from our hamstrings all the way up into our lower back, okay, so imagine your knees are your feet, slightly wider than shoulder width, okay, and then from there, come down to round about a fist, round about a fist, there, and same thing to breathe in, <sighs> breathe out the way up. Try not to round your back at the top as well, okay? So obviously extend the elbows to there, but don't round the upper back. You wanna make it a little bit more difficult, what you can do is obviously go onto your toes, okay? But the exercise is exactly the same. Make sure you try and maintain that straight line all the way through and keep your stomach muscles and your lower back strong as well, okay? You want to make it harder, have a narrower hand position. And that will shift the emphasis out to your triceps a little bit more. So, not sure how many reps I did there, but again, I was talking you through. So there's your four exercises. Press ups, upright rows, Russian twist, okay? And then your squats, okay? Obviously with the bag. There's your four exercises, any order that you like, you want to make it more difficult, increase the repetitions, increase the load as long as your technique's there, okay? And as I said, warm up of your choice. Cool down, so that was one set. Do three sets of that, maybe four, you can build it up over time, okay? So one set there, if you start at three sets of that, and then you can go from there. Make sure you have a little bit of a drink of water in between your sets, and that's it, okay? So, stretches, same stretches as before, all we do, Hand into a fist, fist into your chest, point your elbows forward, okay, and round your back, and that there is stretching all the muscles of our mid upper back. So latissimus dorsi, trapezius, rhomboids, and so on. Chest stretch, arms straight, arms behind, just there, chin up, and that stretching pectoralis major, Anterior deltoids, you're gonna get a little bit of a bicep stretch on that as well. Straight up. These are the same static stretches from before, okay? So just from there, straight up. And stretch the abs or the abdominals, rectus abdominis, breathe out, and then we'll go for the lower body. So quadriceps, which you can see, 
from there. And then what you're doing, knees together, hips forward, struggling with your balance, put your finger in your ear. And try and get your chest up on that as well. Hold them for around about 10 seconds, okay? And then the other one, same thing. Knees together, hips forward, struggling, finger in your ear. Yeah, hold onto your earlobe. Keep that breathing going. That's it. And then hamstrings. So again, you've done these. Front leg straight, rear leg bent, hand on the bent leg, okay? Chin up, chest up, bum out, lean forward into the straight leg. And then about halfway through, just get your toe up as well. Just increase that stretch. And then same thing on the other leg. So front leg straight, rear leg bent, hand and weight on the bent leg, chin up, chest up, bum out, lean forward towards that straight leg, halfway through, get the toe up. It's gonna get a little bit of a stretch in the gastrocnemius as well, okay, calf muscle. And that is it, okay? Job done, okay? Enjoy it, blend the two together, and we'll see you soon.